There's fundamentally two types of engine that we deal with here at Amazon Cars. Both of them overhead valve, um, and then they subdivide into five separate motors. Um, so, in order to identify them, and no sniggering here, please, because there's no reason why some garages that work with these should know the difference between a B16 and a B18. Um, so this video is just to explain what the different, how to recognize the different engines. So let's start off with the early ones. You're unlikely to see these very often, very rare. The B4 and the B16 engine, down the end. This here is the B4 engine, 1400 cc's, always painted green from the factory. And the big giveaway for the B4 and B16 is that the rocker cover here is rectangular and a center filler. So rectangular rocker cover, center filler, painted green. Starter motor on the right hand side of the engine means that you've got a B4 1400 cc engine. Indeed, here, although not very helpfully because it's pretty much obscured by the exhaust manifold, but just there, type B4 is written there on the engine ID plate. So let's look at its younger sibling, uh, which is the B16 over in the car. So here we have its younger sibling, um, the B16 engine, 1600 cc's. Again, this is the big giveaway, a purely rectangular rocker cover and a center filler. And down here on the right hand side, you can't see from the video, but is the starter motor on this side of the engine. And the interesting thing whilst I'm here, I shouldn't digress too much, but the B4 and B16 distributors, the rotor arm rotates clockwise. Be aware of that. This is a clockwise rotating rotor arm on the B4 and B16 engines. And here is the engine number and the type. So if you look just down there, that says B16. So there you go, embossed between the two covers is B16. And along here on that machined plate is the engine number itself. Okay, then we get the big change. So let's go back to Emma's Amazon for the B18. Following on from the B4, B16 engines came Volvo's B18. Now, a short history lesson, as I understand it, Volvo bought BM tractors in Sweden primarily to get hold of that diesel engine that they had. And Volvo then petrolized the diesel engine. Of course, that's not an uncommon thing. Uh, if we think of the Peugeot 205 GTI, that bottom end was designed as a diesel motor and then Peugeot petrolized it to produce the, uh, the superb 205 GTI engine. Um, and that explains why the B18 engine uh, is such a prodigiously strong engine. Uh, five bearing crankshaft, whereas the B4, B16 only has three bearings. Um, that five bearing crankshaft is fundamentally what allows us that 7,000 RPM red line. Uh, so, a little brief history there. Now let's see how you identify this. So, the B18 and B20 engines are basically the same, and this is the giveaway. We no longer have a rectangular rocker cover. We have the fore and aft edges are pointing in towards the carburettors there. So that's the big obvious change. Um, rocker cover oblate like that means it's a B18 or B20. And then if we come round to this side, 
the 1800 B18 engine is embossed at the rear just behind the distributor with its type number B18 and then the engine number is on this machined plate here and it actually has a prefix here as well so that should never be painted because that's the engine number and this series of engines um, as we discussed with the B4 and B16 that the distributor rotates clockwise these engines the distributor rotates anti-clockwise so be careful of that um, the rotor arm is an anti-clockwise rotating on the B18 B20 before I progress to the two litre cars the B20 motor just have a look at the simplicity of this cylinder head we have little machine surfaces here um, between the cylinder head bolts um, but all little elegant faces remember that as we look at the next engine okay so now comes the two liter engine the b20 uh, it still has that same rocker cover that we saw on the b18 with its oblate ends now we were just talking about cylinder heads this is the fifth evolution of our engine series note these large machined bosses this is for the fuel injection cars and would be machined out to take the injectors and their securing bolt so what this means is we are looking at a big valve head 44 mil inlet valves the last evolution of the b20 engine now if in fact you identify that you've got a b20 engine but its cylinder head looks like the b18 i showed you a moment ago that means you've got the small valve head which of course all the amazons got and many of the 140s got and the small valve is the only difference is it got 42 mil inlet valves instead of the 44 for the fuel injection and how do we actually tell it is a b20 not a b18 this time we look at the front of the block down here and you've got embossed volvo there and there is b20 embossed at the front end of the block so that's how we know we're dealing with a b20 the engine numbers once again are on those machined surfaces here and here behind the dizzy and they should not be painted they should be left unpainted to summarize then we have two major engine types and a total of five versions so we have the b4 b16 with the rectangular rocker cover then we go to the b18 engine followed by the b20 small valve and finally the b20 big valve with that distinctive cylinder head machining that is all the engines that we deal with here in amazon cars although i should just show you the b30 six cylinder engine we don't see very many of um, it is actually simply a b20 with two more cylinders stuck in into the middle let's go and have a quick look at that on the uh, racks and here we have my rather limited stash of b30 six cylinder engines um, here this complete motor you see closest to you with its fuel injectors so this is a b30e engine um, there are subtle differences between the b20 and the b30 like the timing covers different um, and the b30 always received steel timing gears whereas the b18 b20 only ever had the fiber and steel um, but were interchangeable between the two engine types and there we are we can see down here a block with its seven bearings um, running down one two three four five six underneath the pump and seven at the back and this here is a carburetted cylinder head 
uh, without those injector machinings here. So there we are, um, B30 engine. For the sake of completeness, we rarely see the B30 these days. Okay, so that's our five four-pot engines, uh, variations, plus number six, the B30 um, six-cylinder engine. That's the motors that we deal with here at Amazon Cars. Thank you.